Hello YouTube. Ha! I'm on my wife's channel again. It's because she is having, uh, well she's getting over a cold, but the cough is lingering. And she's been missing out on work because of that. She works as a uh, consumer relations person, something like that. In other words, she has to talk a lot on the phone. And she's been missing out on work because her throat is a little sore and she's constantly coughing. So, stick with it. You know, she will be back. She just needs to kick the cough out of, out of the system. Um, other than that, she wanted me to pass on to you guys that uh, next Wednesday, we want to do a Q&A type thing. So, throw us some questions. We'll give you some answers. Um... Other than that, what else to talk about? Hmm. That's not on my, not about my channel. This is her channel. So, um, right now, I've, I've been meaning to cut my grass, but every time I get the energy to cut the grass, it's either just rained or it's about to rain. So my grass is a jungle out there. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get it cut this week, but today it's raining. They say, the weatherman's saying that tomorrow the rain's supposed to be gone sometime in the afternoon, late afternoon. Hopefully it dries out enough so when I get home, I can cut the grass. Um, it's, it's weird. We, we don't even have real grass. <laughs> I swear, it doesn't seem like real grass. Because I can cut it and two drops of water and it's back to a good six, eight, 12 inches tall and grass shoots all over the place with grass seeds after only a couple in you know a couple drops of rain and <laughs> it's ridiculous um I miss the days of having good sod <laughs> cause what they do down here is when they build the home they try to throw sod down but it's like the wild grasses just totally take over the sod doesn't doesn't hold, and you got your wild grasses taking over. Um, my mom lives up in Minnesota. She's got sod, and oh my gosh, it is so soft. It is so wonderful. I don't know how she does it. It must be the soil, must be the way she takes care of it. But you could walk around barefoot on that, and it feels so soft. It feels like a bathroom rug that you just bought. Not the type that's been sitting up in the bathtub for a while and it's gotten all matted down and, and stuff spilled out. No, this is like you just bought it. You just put it down on the on your floor and then you stepped on it. And it feels so soft. That's how my parents' grass is. Um, what else is down here? The humidity. It's summertime in the south. Anyone who's in the south knows that the humidity is a killer. It's the type that as soon as you walk out of your your house, you instantly feel like you gotta take a shower again. And I wanna I'm sorry, but those people in the south before air conditioning, they must have been some hardy people. I applaud the those people that can live without AC in the south, those that had to, because AC wasn't even around yet, I couldn't have done it. I don't know about how these people do, do it, but I could not have done that. Um, what's happening in the news? Uh, somebody got in trouble for breaking some windows at Yale, some stained glass windows. He said it was offensive. Those windows have been up there forever. It is the history of the founder, of one of the founders. And during the... I'm sorry. It was a depiction of history. Okay, if you are ashamed of your history, that's not you. Okay? That's not what we are today, but that is part of the history. Okay, the, the window he broke, if you don't know, depicted two... African Americans with big baskets of cotton on their heads and they were, they were bringing in 
basically bringing in the crop. And yes, this was a slave owner, and those were slaves. But that was history. To me, I look, now I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming from a different pair of eyes. And what I mean by that is I didn't, my skin tone, I grew up in the North, I didn't have to deal with a lot of the segregation and the division that the South went through. I don't know where this guy was originally from, but he is angry at history. You know, I look back at my ancestral history, and I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of some of it. But I'm not going to go and destroy pictures of history because it puts a bad light on my history, you know, my ancestral history. Okay, for those that don't know, I'm half German, and everyone knows what happened in the 1940s with the Germans. But I'm not going to break a stained glass window if it depicted hol Holocaust victims doing something. Okay. Was it a bad time in history? Yes, it was. Okay. But I'm not going to break it. If it, show, if it showed Nazis rounding up, Jim, not rounding up the Jews, I'm not going to break that. I will find it, I may find it uncomfortable, but it's my history, you know, it's, it's part of history. It's part of my ancestral roots history. As far as I know, my German side left Germany way before Hitler came into power pre-World War One, in fact. So, even though my bloodline ties me to that country, I don't think my bloodline ties me to the problems of the 1900s with Germany. But I'm not going to destroy something that depicts history. Speaking of history, I heard... One of the people that was protesting, one of these cops shooting, that we shouldn't be judging people by their history. And the guy on the radio had said, well, what if someone took your child? I'm sure you'd want the cops to look at every single person who's ever been arrested for messing with kids. So it's okay to... Look at these people's histories when it benefits you. Okay. Now, history doesn't... These people's personal history does not mean they deserve to die. No. But it does deserve that the... It does mean that the cops are going to take a little bit more precaution to people with history. Okay. Are you doing it? Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh. I'm doing a video. Are, they, are you on right now? Yeah. Oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting me some tea and honey and lemon. Um, yeah, my yeah, voice is... Voices. Yeah, my voice is okay now. It's just the cough is horrible. I start coughing and I can't catch my breath. Yeah. Pulled muscle in my back just from coughing. Uh, my stomach's all sore. But I'll, I'll probably finish that topic on my channel. I just want to touch a little bit on the news. <laughs> what topic are you talking about in my video? The, the guy that broke the window I didn't at Yale. Because it, it depicted uh, history. Oh. It was two slaves carrying cotton. But yeah. the stained glass window was, has been there forever. Hi. <laughs> it was there Getting some water. since the beginning of... Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it was since the beginning of, of uh, the school. And yeah. it was about one of the founders. See, I've been hearing about it. I've been coughing oh. all day. <laughs> well, I, mean, I didn't even want to finish dinner. But he got in trouble for it, and the school went ahead and took down the other windows. Oh, wow. Because it was, it was kind of offensive. I mean, it showed slaves. But it was part of history. It showed what? It showed two slaves out in the field with baskets of cotton. So he broke, the win broke that window. Oh, uh, well. On the stained glass window. I really window. don't like to get into racism on my channel at all. Yeah. I don't like to. It just. I don't. It's I'm not looking at it from the history point of view. You should have did it on your channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I don't really get into that. Um, mm. Take it. Take that. Tell them to go to your channel to watch that. Yeah, I'll finish it on my channel. <laughs>
Hopefully, I even upload that. Yeah. Anyway, but continue. that's 10 minutes in. My wife will hopefully will have a video up Sunday. It'll be Sunday or Wednesday that we'll do the question. Oh, that's Wednesday. Questions on Wednesday. Try to do it live. So. And you just heard it from her. She's wanting to do the live one. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, if I'm still alive, I feel like crap. So it. It's um. I think it's Google or YouTube Live. I don't know. I, I found out yeah. where I can do it. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Now, I don't know if it saves. Does it save it? For people to watch yeah, later it, on it too. Yeah, it saves it. Yeah, it saves okay. it. So it's live, but you can if you miss it, you can watch it. You just can't interact with it. All right. Take a look. Like, subscribe, share, share. Don't forget to leave the questions. Leave the questions. Um. And hopefully I'll be back up. Sunday without a cough because it's killing <laughs> it's killing my work. I haven't worked for a couple of days. Okay. All right. Take care, YouTube.